In the barren highlands of southeastern Turkey lies a hidden relic of an ancient civilization, Gobekli Tepe. According to archaeologists, this site was built over 12,000 years ago, but that was during a time when humans still lived as hunter-gatherers. So, how were they able to construct such a massive structure? What's even more puzzling is that their architectural skills seem to decline over time, and after standing for 2,000 years, the entire site was deliberately buried by someone. What were they doing here, and where did they go? In 1963, a mysterious pile of stones was discovered in the highlands of Gobekli Tepe, near Şanlıurfa in southeastern Turkey. At the time, archaeologists didn't think much of the find. They assumed it was just part of a medieval cemetery. But in 1994, a German archaeologist, Klaus Schmidt, came across early reports on the area and had a gut feeling that the site might be something extraordinary. As Schmidt began excavations, he started uncovering incredibly massive stone pillars. These pillars stood up to 5.5 meters tall and weighed anywhere from 10 to 50 tons. Using ground-penetrating radar, Schmidt scanned the area and discovered that over 200 pillars were arranged in circular formations. The entire site was larger than 12 football fields combined. But what shocked scholars even more was the result of carbon dating. It revealed that the site had been built around 12,000 years ago. At that time, humans lived in small tribal groups, surviving through hunting and gathering. To build something of this scale, a large, organized society, what we call a civilization, must have existed. Until now, the earliest known civilization was the Sumerians, who thrived in Mesopotamia around 5,000 years ago. But Gobekli Tepe predates the Sumerian civilization by 7,000 years. For a long time, we were taught that civilization began with the rise of agriculture, as seen in the Sumerian example. The traditional view was that agriculture led to food stability, which gave rise to cities, growing populations, and the formation of complex societies. But the discovery of Gobekli Tepe is challenging that very view. While tools for grinding grain have been found at the site, there's no evidence of systematic farming. So what brought these people together? A close examination of the pillars revealed an important clue. Astonishingly detailed carvings of animals cover the pillars, but the animals were not depicted in ordinary ways. They weren't shown hunting or being hunted, but rather in symbolic, perhaps ritualistic forms. Plus, one large T-shaped pillar at the center of the site features what appears to be a carving of human hands. Some researchers believe that the T-shaped pillars themselves may have symbolized human figures. Researchers now suggest that the people of Gobekli Tepe may have worshipped a special figure, or even a deity. Indeed, Gobekli Tepe may not have been a settlement at all, but a sacred site for rituals and religious gatherings, a vast spiritual center. In other words, Gobekli Tepe presents a new possibility. Religion, not agriculture, may have been the driving force behind the birth of civilization. But there's one crucial question that hasn't been addressed yet. The question of how. How did the builders of this site transport and erect such massive pillars and carve them with such precision? Each stone pillar weighs at least 10 tons. Moving them is one thing. But a bigger mystery is how they were carved. This was long before the Iron Age, likely even before the Bronze Age. Could they really have achieved this using nothing but stone tools? And the mystery doesn't end with their carving techniques. The overall layout of Gobekli Tepe is also remarkably sophisticated. At the center of each of the three circular enclosures, B, C, and D, stand two large pillars. When we connect the centers of these pillars, they form an almost perfect equilateral triangle. Clearly, that was no accident. It suggests that Gobekli Tepe was a carefully planned and complex construction from the very beginning. This means that the people of Gobekli Tepe weren't just hunters and gatherers, they possessed advanced knowledge of geometry and surveying. With intricate carvings and advanced geometric structures, they clearly possessed skills that couldn't have been acquired overnight. So where did that level of skill come from, and where did it go? Technology typically evolves through continuous use, refinement, and adaptation over time. But Gobekli Tepe presents a strange and anomalous case. Structures built later were noticeably simpler and cruder than those constructed earlier, both in architectural technique, the pillars themselves, and the carvings etched into them. As if time moved backward, as though their craftsmanship steadily declined. Even stranger is the fact that after being used for nearly 2,000 years, the entire site was deliberately buried under stone and earth by someone. Why would the people who had revered this place for so long suddenly abandon it? And where did they go? To this day, archaeologists continue to excavate the site in search of answers. A buried prehistoric civilization full of mysteries, Gobekli Tepe. Will we ever uncover the clues to this ancient enigma?